everyone. So just over a week ago I had a really really impulsive morning and I suddenly decided that I wanted to cut all my hair off. So I was literally booked an appointment and sitting in the hairdresser's chair within about an hour of deciding this. So it was really kind of spontaneous and nothing like me at all. I think I was just getting a bit tired of having long hair and you know it's getting a bit damaged and there's just so much of it I never knew what um, to do with it. So I went for kind of like a long bob. So to some people this would probably look quite long still but to me this is this is really really short. I keep brushing it and then realising that it's really short and nothing's there. So over the last week I've been kind of getting used to styling it and I thought I would show you today some of my favourite hair products of the moment. So first of all I've got a hair care range here from L'Oreal and when it comes to kind of like shampoo and conditioners, masks and things, I don't tend to go for kind of drugstore products, I tend to stick to things that are a little bit more high end, a bit more expensive, I guess I'm just kind of a bit of a snob when it comes to hair products maybe. But I saw Essie Button talking about these and um, she said they were amazing and that everyone had to go and try them and I'm a sucker for anything that she says so I had to go and get them and they're the L'Oreal Everish No Sulfates um, Nourishing Care System. These are the gold ones here so I've got the shampoo and conditioner and I also have the mask and these just give so much moisture to the hair. There's two different types and I've got the very dry and rebellious hair and my hair was getting really really dry and you know a little bit damaged so I thought I would pick these up instantly from the first time I used these together I just noticed my hair was so like just enriched with moisture and so nourished and it felt just amazing so soft and so silky now that my hair is shorter I wouldn't use the mask as much as I would do when it was long but I like to put this on instead of the conditioner just about once a week um, just to give the ends a little bit of nourishment a little bit of moisture I am really enjoying that range at the moment so it's been really hard for me to kind of pick any other hair care products so that's pretty much all I've been using and then just some side products as well and uh, my favourite styling product of the moment is the Ojon Volume Advanced Volumizing Mousse and um, I've literally been putting this all in my hair just scrunching it in from root to tip when it's wet and then blow drying it and I find that it gives such like a voluminised big look to your hair but without weighing it down, without it feeling sticky at all, it just creates a lot of texture and a lot of volume and it really boosts it. So alongside that I've been really getting back into using the Babyliss Big Hair and this is basically a hair dryer with like a rotating barrel brush on the end and these have got really soft bristles so they really comb through your hair and give it so much bounce and so much volume, it's almost like having your hair dried professionally at a salon. I find when I've got the Ojon mousse in my hair, using this just gives it so much volume and it just makes it absolutely huge and I do love big hair. So most of the time I've just been wearing it with like a little bit of a loose messy kind of wave through it and for that I've been using the Tresemme um, curling wand. This is my favourite curling wand, I've had it for so long and it heats up really well, um, it just gives a really long lasting curl so I've just been taking sections and just randomly different you know angles, different um, directions, just putting a little bit of curl into it. It just gives a really nice um, big kind of loose wave because the barrel's a bit thicker. And then after that this is probably my favourite favourite product of the moment, this is quite a recent purchase um, and it's the Bumble and Bubble um, Thickening Cream Contour and it's basically like um, almost like a hair wax and you just take a little bit and really kind of scrunch it through your hair so really like work it in, create a bit of texture, you can kind of define pieces um, you know define curls and things or just really put it into the roots to give you a bit more volume um, and it's just a really nice kind of like multitasking product but it doesn't um, wear your hair down and make it feel sticky at all, um, it's just a way of giving like a bit of texture and a bit of messiness but without it feeling like too heavy in your hair. And then sometimes after that I'll just spray a little bit of the Tresemme texture spray into the roots of my hair just to give it again a bit more volume, a bit more bounce and I just find using these two together works really nicely, it's kind of like a nice combination of styling products. And then last of all, just to kind of set everything in, I've been using the Swatchkov Got To Be Glued Blasting Free Spray and when I first used this I was a bit unsure about it because it made my hair feel so crispy and just not what you want it to feel like when it has hairspray in it but I decided I was using far far too much so just a really really small amount of this goes such a long way so I just spray it basically just in the ends to kind of keep the curls in and then a little bit on my fringe just to sort of keep it in place um, and this stuff holds like no other, it's such a great hairspray if you don't want your hair to go anywhere but at the same time if you use it in the right way, if you use it quite sparingly it won't make it feel like you've got hairspray in your hair at all. So those are all my current hair care picks. I hope you enjoyed that. If anybody has any recommendations for kind of like medium shortish hair, please let me know and I will see you all soon.